Folks, we're here today with Kenton and Glenn. I put out a request a few weeks ago. We have this brush mulcher and I, I put out a plea in the comments. I said, look, I need a 45 PTO horsepower tractor. I want to try this brush mulcher with a tractor that's big enough to, to give it all it's got. And we didn't have that with our 2038R. We're somewhere between 27 and 30 horsepower. We just don't have enough bump for some of these bigger yeah. trees. So we're ready. We're going to try it on both of these tractors today. Now, Glenn has brought us another piece of equipment here to test. Uh, I believe this is from Quick Attach, and it's a front mounted. Well, tell us a little about it, Glenn. Um, they call it a brush buster. It's okay. a little bit better than a bush hog. Okay. It'll roughly take on up to four inch. Okay. And he's got a power pack in the back. We'll show you some more of that in a little bit. We also put the mini clip on the front of Kenton's tractor here. He's got a 4052. R and uh, he's got the brush mulcher first on his tractor, but guys, which one do you want to see first? Hey, it, we're here. We're here. Oh, come on. Having fun. I'll, 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 I'll let you go first. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Since so, you want to play with the mini clip. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the mini clip and we got the brush mulcher. We're going to try that first. Let's get started. Sure. Let's check out some of the trees in here while he's getting ready. Kind of help me do a little estimate here on what we're looking at. Yeah. At one point you would say this is just a couple inch, but when you get down there right at the bottom. There's four or five together. There's four or five together and that becomes a six or inch or more tree, right? Mm -hmm. And then this cedar over here is probably a four incher. You can you can do all that with this. Oh. But if you, do, if you don't want to start without the cedars go easy. Okay. Um, we'll work way that way. We'll you just you just get your practice, but but you'll be able to get them all. Wow. Don't hesitate to stop and chew. No, no. Don't don't try to go fast. Yeah, oh. oh my goodness, that's so much more powerful. <laughs> oh yeah. It's amazing what plenty of more horsepower will do. Oh my goodness. Now drop it down a little further. We don't want to be in front of the thing. That's oh, what we no. don't want to be. Now it's fascinating to me. He's got turned his four-wheel drive on. Yeah. But it's fascinating to me that uh, we can still make it use all that tractor. Yeah, it's still strange. You get into the heavy stuff. Now you can hear that's when it's got one around it. This red and black electrical cord that you see strung along the left loader boom was being used to charge a little battery that's in the mini clip. The mini clip has a self-contained diverter and it's wireless, unless I forget to charge the battery. I'm gonna want that all chopped again, see? Right. Whoop! <laughs> Glenn, the 4052R met its match. Look, it's all full of stuff oh, in there. Man. Question is, is that blue tractor, you're gonna be able to keep from killing it. We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think in a prior episode, I discussed how there's two different ways to run out of horsepower. One way being that you just kind of back into too much of a tree. The other way is that you get it all wrapped around. And that's what happened there. See, that thing does amazing on that second and third Yeah, trip. the second half, it was great. And Glenn, this is why I like that thing so well. Everybody says, hey, you know, you could do this with a mower. A mower is the second best thing here, but this thing mulches as well, right? If I cut that with anything else, I've got to burn it or I've got well, to... Well, it also takes it all the way down to the dirt. To the ground level, no more, uh, no more stumps to deal with, yeah. That's a pretty good size tree, Glenn. That was, that was at least a five, six incher with yeah. a stump at the stump part. I'm 
I'm a little concerned about that. When it shoots them all the way up through there, I'm concerned it could hit something. I'm concerned, like manual filter, hydraulic filter, yeah. wiring. Yeah, the, the bigger one that we just got has chains up there, yeah. but I'm not sure if this one Comes should have chains or if it needs to not have chains. Or, because, you know, I, I don't know. Or a flap. Yeah. It's hard to be gentle enough when you're backing up. Yeah. In some ways, it seems like it might mulch a little better going forward. Maybe it hits the same log and has to... It gets caught upstairs in the... Yeah. So you've seen these trees in the video. Do you think they look bigger or smaller or about the same as what you thought in the video? They're a little bit of both. I mean, it's hard to judge anything, of course, on camera versus being standing there. Yeah, there's been a lot of people that have said, oh, I could mow all that with my bush hog. Well, hey, Tim. yeah, what? yeah, I'd love to. There's been a lot of people said how, oh, I can mow that with my bush hog. I just couldn't get my bush hog over this. I didn't feel like. I wouldn't feel the right driving over it to risk damaging something under the tractor, yeah. as thick as it is. I was surprised, of course, I had seen the video, but when you're here in person and you're you're backing into that, especially that big bush on the end there, or tree, I was just amazed that it just, it just does the job it does. That is just perfect for this. on a cab tractor though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. that much horsepower. Oh yeah. my. That, that be, definitely that would be miserable. Comparatively when you were doing a few weeks ago with the mud. Oh yeah. It's... Uh, oh, he recovered. He recovered. Well I had not I had not seen one like that. I had I've actually... seen the ones on the high county highway that they got the ones on the side to go up and well, shred the or, stuff. Or a skid steer. You're right, skid steer we found it, but that is, uh, that is quite a unit. Yeah, it's even more impressive when you, you see it really in person. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, he made it. He had the Tim touch. <laughs> the creep is faster on this than on the 23R. Well, I can see you, you, right. you need a Midas touch. One, one little thing, and if it grabs a big wad all at once, you. Right. you yeah, some of that almost sounds like sounds like metal. It's kind of scary when you. <laughs> Next best driver. <laughs> what did you think of it? Oh man, that, you just don't think that it can do what it does. <laughs> it's pretty and, mean. And when you talk about that big bush on the end, I thought, wow. I it didn't was put really it in big. Four wheel drive because yeah, gives you a little more oomph going into it, but. Now I found that I could uh, I could handle brush much better with this machine than the 2038R. Um, with the 2038R, I had to lift it up and go in, and I really didn't like doing that. I saw that with the this video. one. With this one, I could leave it on the ground. I like I like that better, and, and you only had to tell me an additional time, but yes, you want to leave it on the ground. That's the easiest way to handle it. I just didn't have enough horsepower. Well, yeah, so I would have you, to get it have higher. To lift it up. Like anything else, you just gotta take your time. But boy, it's... Now we now have this, a... this stuff. It goes. Well, you can almost just keep moving. Right? Yeah, you can go real, real good in the smaller stuff. If you get to the bigger stuff, you gotta be careful. <laughs> right. This tractor's got a unique story, right? Uh -huh. This tractor's actually been on Tractor Time with him before. <laughs> it has. I was looking for a, a 4066. Yeah. Car. And uh, when I contacted the, the dealer, they said, well, you know, we don't have one of those, but we do have a 52. 
And he said, it's loaded up. And somebody had ordered it okay. loaded up, but then failed to take delivery for some right. reason or another. And they said, we really like where you take a look at it, we really like to move it. And uh, when I got to look at it, it had you know, all the bells and whistles, the top and tilt, the down pressure, the pressure on the three-point hitch, the power beyond, and of course the third function, and it just had more things than I would have, which is kind of nice, more things than I would have ordered, but then I find out that the uh, top and tilt, I, I would probably buy that in now. Okay. I really like that. Okay, but it's more special than that. After I had bought it, I was watching uh, your video, uh, I think it was Looking for a Bigger Johnny, I think it was the title. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you guys were were looking at the dealer and they looked at the ones out on the lot and they said, oh, we'll take you in and show you this four series. And I was looking at everything you did have and I said, that's where the tractor came from that I bought. I said, that's it. <laughs> So this is the exact tractor we sat in on the search for a bigger yep. Johnny. Yeah, they, they transferred it from Fishers up to uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, how, oh, how did you recover from that? Well, the belt <laughs> slipped. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got something wrapped around he can't get out. Yeah. You know, you said, oh, what? It, it was not as much room in it. Was, there isn't a cab tractor. But also that it had the air seat. Yes. And that's also an option, not on the 4066, but it is on the 42. So, <laughs> so they transferred from there to Atlanta where I called them. And... Oh, now you're in our league. Yep. <laughs> so, well, I just think it's fascinating that we've actually sat in this tractor. I, I marveled. I, I, I couldn't hardly believe it. We wondered where it went, right? We assumed it went to the first guy who bought it. Correct, yeah. But it turns out he didn't end up buying it, and you, you ended up with it a year later. And, 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 and got a, I mean, obviously. A super deal. A good deal, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's an incredibly nice machine. Oh, I, 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 hate, I don't want to use the word love for inanimate objects, yeah. but I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a good job with it for a first time driving. Well, he sure is. What a, what a beast. That, that, I, oh. So you've seen all these trees on the other videos. We get a lot of comments about, oh, those trees are you, small. No, you, you, <laughs> you, you, you can't really understand until you, until you get here and look at it. And the thick, and that, and those things are, are tough. I mean, yeah. They're, they're, this isn't dead stuff that just falls off. It's, this is not bush hog condition. No, no, no. That's what we've been trying to say to people. Oh, my bush hog would just handle that. I wouldn't have any uh, issue. Uh, no. I, you, you, and, and it's certainly, even if it could handle some of this, it wouldn't handle it near as well, and it wouldn't do the job this day. Yeah. After a couple trips over, when you're going forward, this thing really, really mulches right. it up. Right, yep, yep. I actually like going forward over it after you've already cut it. Then yep. it really seems to. Yeah, I noticed that after you, after we were out here, I noticed you, you go back and forth over it, that just, yep. I mean, it. you couldn't ask for any better. Well, those have, those have got to be well made to put up with that, you know? Yeah. To, to deal with that kind of stuff. Yeah, and it looks totally new. You don't see any dents or right. anything on well, it. Well, that I was telling Christy, some of those things, your first image, when you hear it banging off it, you, you think, think, oh my goodness, <laughs> I hit metal. Glenn, what'd you think? Well, it works good. I think uh, we got the, t the tuning turned down on the hydro, which made it go slower. So yeah, we, we, we changed the knob on your hydro, Kent, and we're messing with your tractor. Oh, okay. It was making it so it accelerated really quick. That's what I noticed. It accelerated really quick. He, he turned you, that down. You, the, the, the knob. The knob, yeah, the, the sensitivity switch. knob, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, yeah. so that worked really well. You know what I think I'd like to do next is uh, try that mini clip before we take this oh. off of here. Otherwise, we won't have any ballast on your tractor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think let's, it... let's find a spot to try that mini clip. And uh, there's a couple of big cedars down there. I think those would be good. Oh yeah, okay. 
What we'll do is we'll mini clip them and then we'll take the mulcher and see if we can mulch them. Oh, okay. See there if we can go. turn them into mincemeat. Yeah. Oh, the whole thing. Yep. The oh, whole thing. of course. <laughs> uh, we got to do the whole thing. Okay. All right. You're on. Oh, again. you want me to do it or oh, you want yeah, to do you it? You can do it. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Look at that, Christy. Right on the ground. That would cause no damage at all. He's the Grinch that stole Christmas. Some people use cedars for Christmas trees. Now my, my biggest challenge is to keep from sucking the whole tree under there. Yeah, as soon as it shoots it all the way through, it kills the tractor. <laughs> Just like it. You see what I mean about two different ways to run out of horsepower. Yeah. This one, there wasn't anything wrapped, but when you had it, and yeah, it's just wrapped up. It's just that initial. But that whole cedar tree is gone. So what do you think? Is that a good solution to handle one of those trees, Bill? I wouldn't want to try and take anything bigger to it. Think not? Six inches. Is, it's pretty violent on it. It's pretty violent, I agree. I, I guess what I'm liking about the solution is that whether you use the tree clip or not, um, you end up with no tree left. Right. I don't have to try to burn that. I don't have to try to... Just turns back into dirt. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done with it at this point. And that's saved us a lot of effort on this project because we really didn't want to have to burn on someone else's property. People get nervous about burning pretty quickly anyway, right? Oh, we're right behind. That's not a good place to be. Yeah, not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, it doesn't seem to cause us a lot of harm as long as we're not directly behind right. it. Unlike a bush hog, it doesn't throw stuff sideways. No. It throws it either straight back or straight forward. You think you you think you can do that one? Is that seven inches or smaller? I doubt we can get around that one. We can try it. Well, even if you can't get it to the ground, you can grind it to the ground. Right. We'll let you try this one. Once you get around it, you may be able to lower some. Yeah. Back up just a tad and lower. Is that the uh, seven inch maximum? Yeah. I've got some tape made. <laughs> We'll measure this improvement, right? Okay. Now give it all the throttle you got. I think it's bigger than seven inches. What do you think? Well, I think it's every bit of seven. That's eight. Eight that direction, isn't it? It can't be much more than seven the other. That's the only way you can... Seven, well, it's only it looks seven like and three quarters. He may have pushed it around there a little bit with a bigger tractor. Wow. He could force it a little more. I couldn't force it with my little tractor. Oh, wow. Gosh, that's amazing. Like a sawmill, isn't it? <laughs> That's really amazing. 
That's pretty stunning to me. Yeah. It, you just, it, it is. <laughs> you, you wouldn't believe it if you didn't see it. Wow. Well, I was talking to Glenn. That's the advantage there. I mean, we took down those cedars and there's absolutely nothing left. Yeah, and, and you see how it, if you let it eat, it'll eat below the surface. I mean, yeah, you ground that stump beautifully. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about that as well. I hadn't even mentioned that to you and you and you started to do it. And well, I said, well, that's when a guy gets comfortable with a machine when he knows, hey, I believe I can just grind I, that stump off. I was, I was curious. And then after I went over it, I thought, if you wanted it down lower than that, you could you could go back and forth on there and take it even below ground level. So now we have proof that you did take down a bigger than seven inch tree. Yep. Well, we're gonna recover. Oh yeah. Yeah, rock your world. That's impressive. No more tree. <laughs> yeah, it's just I actually think we ground that stump faster than what we could have ground it with a grinder. I think you might be right. Now, obviously we couldn't get it below ground level, but that's not a small stump. Actually, there was two of them. Well, I'm not sure you couldn't have, but you, you didn't need to take a chance of getting into this. this but with you guys spotting, that was pretty accurate too. I couldn't yeah. have got that close with a grinder either. No, right? no, no, no. I mean, I guess I never really thought of this as a stump grinder. No, I, did, I didn't either. I was, like I was telling you, between the stump grinder and a, and a big chipper, you, you got it all in one. Well, what do you think? That, do you think Big Blue would handle this thing? Well, we can just try. Okay, let's try it. Ooh! Hey, folks, we got more to come in another episode. We've just been having way too much fun here. So stay tuned for the second episode of this particular play date that we're having today. We'll see you next time on... Tractor time, time with, with Tim. Tim.